There are different ways to query data in Glide depending on which data sources you have in your apps. The query column is a very powerful tool to query the data that's already in the data editor. It can be used with all types of data sources, including high scale ones like Bigtables, MySQL, or BigQuery. But when you're working with external high scale data sources, you may also want to control what is brought into Glide initially, and then work with that data in the data editor. And for this, understanding how to write custom queries is really important. Now, you can either write your queries server-side, in other words, within the platform where your data is stored. Once you've written that query, you can then import that set of data to Glide. But you can also write queries within Glide's own query editor. And this is really helpful for making further distinctions in tables that you've already brought into Glide. It's faster and more flexible to make custom changes directly in the data editor to further refine the data that powers your Glide apps. Now, Postgres, MySQL, SQL Server, and BigQuery all have detailed documentation about how to write queries on their platforms. We're not going to get into the specifics of each of these platforms in this video, but we'll link these resources in the lesson notes and description. Let's take a look at the query editor and some basic features for querying. Here we have an app that uses BigQuery as a data source, but the query editor works the same way regardless of which queryable data source you're using. All queries start the same way, with select and from. Select is where you specify what information to retrieve with the query, and from is where that data should be retrieved from in the database. The select statement can be simple, like an asterisk denoting to select everything or complex. For example, it can include math, computations and exceptions, or it can include or exclude specific values like a specific month or year. The from statement directs the query about which table to apply the select statement to. A query could consist of just these two statements, or you could add more statements that further refine the search, adding where, order by, or group by statements to apply specific conditions, filtering, ordering, and grouping to the data table that's generated by the query. Once you have all the statements written for your query, you can then preview the results to see if the data appears as you expect. Any errors returned by the database will appear in red and provide context about how to troubleshoot the issue. When everything looks okay, you can select save to generate a new table in Glide from the query that you wrote. Now, editing queries is simple. Just open the query table and select edit query in the upper right hand corner. This will reopen the query editor where you can make any adjustments that you need to. Select save to reload the query data, and this will update the table. If you make adjustments to query data on the server side, you'll need to manually refresh the data in Glide so that those changes reflect in your apps. In the data editor, right click on the affected table and select reload, and this will check for changes against the source database and the data in Glide. To learn about the different types of queryable data sources and their specifics, you can head to our university.